Hello friends, welcome to our channel instrumentontools.com. Today in the series of real time PLC and HMI projects, we have came with another interesting project that is automatic bottle filling. So first of all, let me show you the complete machine. So it is just controlled by HMI and this is how the machine looks and works like. So bottles are coming automatically, it stops and it fills the bottles. Bottle passes. So this is the complete automatic machine that we are going to understand today how each and every step is done over here. So this is the HMI you can see lot of parameters to control from. These are the input output screen. Okay, So you can troubleshoot in case of machine stops and auto cycle doesn't work. Mostly used in the pharma companies. Let us decode how this machine works. So the step one is conveyor on. That means output of the conveyor is on and bottle comes to production line. So let me show you. So first step is turn on the output of conveyor. Now here you can see these are two photo sensors and these are two pneumatic cylinders. So when the conveyor is on, bottles are coming. Along with that, this sensor is counting the number of bottles. And the desired number of bottle will pass through this sensor. Let me show you what will happen. Initially, this cylinder is in advanced position, that is in forward position. So you can see its cylinder over here. So bottle cannot go besides this. Okay. Now, when the photo sensor will count the desired numbers, what will happen? Conveyor will stop, nozzles will come down. So when the photo sensor counts, the desired number of bottle is achieved then what will happen conveyor output will be off so conveyor will be stopped and nozzles will come down so that we can see from here so when the desired number of bottles are came here what will happen this cylinder also advances why this cylinder advances that you will understand in the later part okay right now what is happening observe conveyor is stop right now in this nozzles so this will come down by a pneumatic cylinder so that pneumatic cylinder will have two pipes like this so for that it will have two solenoids and that will be controlled by two outputs of the plc so when the plc will give command to the down solenoid valve pneumatic cylinder will push all this nozzle in downward motion so let's see that cylinder pushes this nozzle down okay now this nozzle is getting liquid from these pipes that you can see from here. Now how it will fill that I will show you later. Filling the bottles with nozzle and then nozzles are taken upwards. Okay. So filling can be done based on the two things. Either you can fill based on the time that first you test by setting the time you can fill your desired level. Okay. So for that particular time the pump will be on and the fluid will flow from these pipes to this bottle. And the second method is to keep sensors, capacitive sensors to detect the desired level is reached or not. So I assume here the filling is based on the time because we cannot see any sensor to detect level here. And after the time has completed, the filling pump will off and after that what will happen? PLC will energize the up solenoid valve so the pneumatic cylinder will move upward and the nozzles are taken upward. So you can see from here, nozzles are going upward. Now, what will happen? Step 4 will be executed where conveyor is on. So the filled bottles will taken out of the production line. So you can see, but before that, this cylinder retracts back. You can see first there was the bar but now there is no bar and the conveyor is on. So what will happen? Only this much bottles will go from here and because of this cylinder is locked position over here. So 
even if the conveyor is on only these bottles will move and these bottles will not move so you can watch from here you can see because of this lock only this bottle moves because this lock is taken back now the role of this photo sensor is to count these bottles when all the for example here there are eight bottles so when the eight bottles passes through this sensor what will happen again it will lock the production line through this cylinder observe that carefully so it locked here and also unlocked this cylinder and again this sensor will count eight bottles when the eight bottles are reached it will again lock the conveyor line you can see when the desired bottles reached it locked the conveyor line and in this way this whole process keeps repeating so i hope that you have learned something new from this video try to make this by yourself and do a practice if you want to see more real life act projects like this show your interest by liking and subscribing our youtube channel meet you in the next video with another interesting example